Hi, this is Keith Parsons, Dr. NetFlow with Action Patent Networks. Today I'd like to show you our new features we have with our LAN module and its capabilities of monitoring and analyzing the network. Here we are looking at live action from the home view and we can see the flows going through the network between the different devices and we can see the network diagram. I'm actually going to click the LAN tab here and look now we're actually seeing new information that we've never seen before in live action. I'm going to drill in a little bit and look at this 3560 and notice we can see trunks for the first time. That's the interfaces indicated with this letter T on them and we can see this interface here is actually two gig channels that have actually been rolled up to create one port channel as we're looking at right now. One of the nice things about the functionality that we've included within Live Action for LAN is the ability of drilling down and looking for problems. As an example, I can double click on this 3560 and instantly see the trunk ports and the access ports, the VLANs, the trust factor if it was set, input output bandwidth, input drops, output drops, and connected devices and interfaces are very easily sewn. So let's go to a home view and let's find a VLAN and we can actually highlight that VLAN and notice we track it through the network now and we can see the interfaces that are involved with this actual VLAN very easily to troubleshoot problems. I don't see any problems here so let's go over to my backbone side of my network and here's my 6509s, my 7600s and my 2960s and following the blue line again or the VLAN 1 we do actually see it goes into port channel 4 which is amber indicating a problem. Problem. So if we double click on port channel 4 and select VLAN 1, notice to the left that we actually do see the problem. Gigabit Ethernet 01 is indicated in amber and port channel 4 is also indicated in amber as well. That means we're experiencing either input or output drops on these interfaces and using live action we were able very quickly to drill down and show you the problem of input drops on this one interface very very easily. Also, I'd like to show you that we do layer 2 QoS. So let's go to the 6509, and here we're looking at trunk ports, VLANs, trust, input output bandwidth, as well as connected devices. I'm going to actually click the show layer 2 QoS tab, and notice now we can look at interfaces with Q drops, and now see the interface name, port type, trust, direction, Q number, threshold, uh, total drop packets, the drop rate, and the calls map can be seen. So what if I wanted to look at voice traffic as an example? I could come over and quickly select the priority queues and take a look. Calls map 5 is DSCP 46 EF traffic, so we can now see the drop rate, the total drop packets, the threshold, the queue number, direction, trust, port type, and interface name can all be shown very easily now within the tool as well. So one of the nice features also about the actual LAN functionality is a find IP MAC feature that we have in the tool where we actually can put in an I address and even resolve it back to an actual interface, MAC address, the VLAN index, and of course where he's located on the network as well. If you like what you've seen today and like to see more, just simply go to our website at www.actionpack.com and download the free demo and see the power of live action in your network. Thanks again.